must go now to Hillsborough. What looks anyway to be a major incident there, Peter Jones. The teams have just left the field here. The trouble away to our left where there's a packed enclosure of Liverpool supporters. Two and a half minutes after the match started, they really came over the top of the fence. Police are trying desperately hard to hold them back and at the moment it is simple mayhem. It's just one big cover up. Kevin didn't fit so they made him fit. The thing that stuck on me head was um, he was shouting, you've got to open the gate or someone's going to die. On April 15th, 1989, what should have been a joyous time? 96 friends we shall miss and all the cockfights want justice. It's a good start, but we have chaos with fans on the field, I'm afraid to say. And one or two of them look rather the worst for drink, but clearly... I was told that Kevin's was, he was the worst injured. It was the worst case of traumatic asphyxia. I was told about certain markings on my son. My head was spinning thinking, Kevin didn't look like that. Um, he didn't have those markings. Why are they doing all this to me? And that's what started the fight. But next thing I was back in the crowd, back in the crush. And this kid come across in another surge. I just remember his jump and his dark hair and his, his, like, his light coloured fleece. But he was on his knees and he was sort of, he come across in front of us on his knees. So I just grabbed him, like, shoulder from, I was behind him and I just grabbed him here. I was just holding on to day of life really, trying to, you know, pull him up, but it was impossible, like, I'd lost this kid. But uh, really, it is a situation which is very, very sad to see. And I'm sure once again that uh, a football match is going to be the headlines, not because of what's happened on the field, if anything does happen on the field, but because of what's happened off it, but stressing once again, there has been no fighting between supporters, there has been no trouble, it has been purely because there have been too many people crushed into the ground. It's Kevin's right to life, and because Kevin had died in the hands of the state, he was entitled to a thorough investigation into how he died, and with the 3.15 cut-off point, that, had ha that hadn't happened, so I was asking the European courts really to give Kevin his inquest. Uh, I met up with Peter Carney, who was a survivor and a great friend um, at one of the memorial services, and we discussed about setting up the Hope for Hillsborough. And we called it Hope, the hoping that, you know, we would get some sort of justice. So I started the uh, group up with the help of, you know, quite a few survivors and um, to, to raise funding, really, to pay for my legal fees. Anyway, the years went on, uh, and this kid who had signed a help in the pen was on my mind constantly. Nightmares, etc. Lack of sleep. I just had to know who this kid was. 2001, about 12 years after, and uh, my mate, John, turned up at my house one day, and he said, I've bought you a book. I sort of pictured on the front and basically nearly fell over because it was the kid who had signed to help in the pen for me. And I finally found out his name, it was Kevin, Kevin Williams. So it was the 14th anniversary of Hillsborough. I went to the ground where I left after the service. I was walking past the Albert pub, I looked, and there was Anne Williams standing outside the pub. I was like, there's your chance, John, go and tell her. But I didn't. I first uh, actually met John on Facebook. He, um, he joined my site and he used to mail me. And then he, he, he told me that, um, he asked me one day, was Kevin, uh, by the barrier that broke and I mailed him back to say yes and he just said I've got something I'd like to tell you and could I meet up with you uh, I was with a friend in the car and we picked John up and then he said I said where do you want to go to talk and um, he said well you come back to mine I only live around the corner it's all right then we'll come back to yours for a cup of tea so we, we went back into his house and I can always remember he took his he put the kettle on and he took his coat off and he had my book under his coat and he put it down, he said, that's how I knew. 
my heart dropped through my pants basically. But she was great, you know, she was the way she was with me when I told her was it was the other end of the spectrum of what I thought I was gonna get off her. I thought she was gonna I don't know, I thought she was gonna kill me basically. But she wasn't, she was fantastic. She was just you know, it's not your fault. Put my mind at ease and she basically saved me soul. We're now good friends and will be forever because we've just got this bond now. Um, what the Westmoreland Police have done in Kevin's case and the pathologist who lied about Kevin's injuries, I want something done about it. They've gone round and changed witness statements, lied about his injuries, perverted the course of justice in the inquest, suppressed all the um, signs of life in Kevin, so the jury never really knew what happened to Kevin. So how he died and what he died from has never ever been answered. And until I get a new inquest to put the records straight, I will never ever go away. The only problem is if Kevin gets his inquest, it will open that period between 3.15 and 4. And that is the cover up of Hillsborough. Yeah, I'm now part of two groups, uh, striving for justice for the 96 people who died. One's March for Justice and the other one's Hope for Hillsborough. If we're not going to get any justice, if we're going to get stitched up, we're going to start campaigning more. Uh, we'll start going to the matches with the uh, leaflets of the fraud and letting people more aware that Hillsborough is such a big cover-up and that we've got to have some sort of justice. You can't have the truth without justice. I've got the truth and I want justice. that we're never going to go away until we get the truth. Through a storm Hold your hand up high And don't be afraid of the dark At the end of a storm, there's a golden sky and the sweet silver sound of a love. Walk on.